Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. We wanted to just do a quick catch up video because we're in coronavirus lockdown. Why are we in lockdown, Andrew? Somebody sneezed. <laughs> So two weeks ago we went into lockdown in the UK and we have got quite a good lockdown really. We are allowed out for essential exercise and other essential journeys aren't we? Yeah but other than that it's stay at home. And save lives, that's the message that yeah. we're getting loud and clear. So we just wanted to say thank you so much for all your lovely messages that we've been receiving on Instagram and YouTube telling us how much our videos are lifting your spirits and yeah. Andrew's set up an A to Z. If you're at home and you're suffering lockdown boredom we thought well, why not put a playlist together we've called it an A to Z of Cornwall lockdown playlist. Bit of a mouthful but it's on the channel so basically we're going through the alphabet A to Z. Some places are really easy like P would be quite easy. Oh plenty of P's. Plenty of P's and uh, lots of M's. Yeah. Yeah. X is going to be more of a challenge. Although we've got nearly 200 videos to choose from on our channel, it's trying to find something that does relate to the A to Z. <laughs> so Z's quite easy. You can probably guess where Z's going to be. <laughs> so what have you been doing to keep busy? High five, Millie. A brownie. I've, been look I've actually been reading some books. I don't read very often. I normally look at picture books. It's all true. I read it in a book. It's not wrong. <laughs> Comics. <laughs> I should be doing some exercise indoors. What's that? Mm. <laughs> I I'd missed that one. So our circumstance, I'm still working. I'm a key worker. Andrew's been furloughed for yeah. two months. So he's at home and he's slowly climbing the walls, going a bit stir crazy. Even though we're so lucky to have all this on our doorstep we're just kind of dreading the weather changing so that you're actually locked at home aren't you yeah we've got elderly parents as well so we're uh, making sure that they're fit and well and look catered for yes so how have you been finding the changes in the supermarkets our local supermarket now has lines on the floor but obviously they're for our safety and we're respecting that and it's lovely actually to see everybody else keeping their distance with their trolley. I haven't had an instance where I felt uncomfortable in the supermarket other than with the changes that we've had to cope with. Yes that's supermarket shop today we ended up shopping for four different lots of people wasn't it? Shopping for four people it's not fun is it? All essentials <laughs> as well wasn't it so uh, your yeah. dad wanted whiskey. <laughs> I can uh, understand that one. Yeah my, my, uh, my parents wanted ice cream. And wine gums. And wine gums. Yeah. Yeah all essentials. <laughs> Whereas our son actually wanted loo roll, so we can let him off, can't we? <laughs> so we are tremendously lucky. We live in Cornwall for starters, but we also have quite a lot of countryside on our doorstep, so we can take a country walk. We've also got a garden. We're very busy in the garden. A couple of months ago, we decided to take down our old polytunnel. And so now we have a project on our hands of re-landscaping that area. So we've been cracking on with that. Unexpectedly, oh. it's moving a lot faster than we thought it would. Creating a space for my pasty harvest. I've grown lots of cuttings over the winter in anticipation of this. We suffer from a very strong easterly cold blast. So we want to put up some hedging around this new area. What you got? So have you found new walks? We're kind of making things up on the hoof, although we thought we knew our local area, didn't we Andrew? Yeah, it's, you know, if you've actually found a new walk close to your home, somewhere you've not been for a long, long time, or, or something new that you've discovered, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it, it to actually it find new places on your doorstep. I think it brings you new joy to the place you actually live in, because if you're anything like us, we're so busy and we're we've really come back to the house to eat and sleep yeah and usually if, if we come home from from work and we do a dog walk it tends to be the same dog walk most nights doesn't yeah, it yeah so the utility uh, dog walks that yeah. you do every day just to allow him to do his business come home and then you plump in front of the telly usually don't you yeah. so yeah i think that's a silver lining to this awful situation that we're experiencing so let us know have you found a new walk I don't know if you've noticed little things as well. 
like the bird song. It seems louder this year. And yesterday, for the first time, I noticed a vapour trail and it was like, oh, a plane. What's that doing in the sky? What's that thing? So you might have noticed we put out a virtual walk where we film step by step our progress from Kynance car park, Kynance Cove car park, all the way down to the beach with the stunning views and a little taste of the beach at the end. We did that as a bit of an experiment last summer, didn't we, Andrew? Well, we thought that, you know, if you're doing a little bit of exercise at home, um, it might be just quite pleasant just to sort of experience walking just literally yeah, if you're on a treadmill or an exercise bike, we thought, you know, if you've got that on your telly, it might make the half hour or whatever you spend exercising pass a bit quicker. Yeah, so we filmed the one at Kynance and we also went down to Gudrivi, didn't we? Yes, beautiful. And it's a longer walk from North Cliffs car park down towards the lighthouse, isn't it? It's an hour and a quarter, that one. It takes a minute for us to get to Gudrivi, but the evening was beautiful, wasn't it? It was the most perfect summer evening when we filmed it. So it's worth sticking with and it just helps you relax or take your mind off things, do some exercise too. You might find it's a bit different. We, we were experimenting at the time, weren't we? Let yeah. us know what you think yeah. anyway. So we did film a couple of Stay in Cornwall vlogs back at the beginning of March and it didn't seem quite appropriate now to be releasing those videos. The properties were gorgeous. One was in St Ives absolutely fantastic location minutes from the harbour and the other was up near Bodmin Moor yeah. which was Arup. yeah yeah so we will share those with you as soon as they're able to take bookings again really so keep watching just to let you know we have got three or four I can't remember how many videos that I haven't edited yet yes oh. we, we had a, a week off at the beginning of March and we spent most of that week filming. We were yeah. out and about. So there are videos that we're going to show you. Uh, what have we got, So We've got um, St well, Ives. St Ives Town Walk yep. and there's one round Padstow. Padstow is really interesting because we filmed that the day that Boris announced in the evening that we were going into lockdown the next day. Yeah, so we were there in the afternoon and then literally the hours. In the evening, yeah, it? Yeah. It, was, it was incredible. But Padstow but... was already starting to wind down and it was, yeah. it was actually eerily quiet. It's quite stark viewing actually, isn't it? You found it quite upsetting, didn't you? What was curious is we both pretty much said exactly the same thing to camera, although we were filming independently yeah. and we weren't that close to each other no. when we were filming. And it's, we obviously had the same thoughts and feelings as we were going around and it was, it, it was. It was eerie and, and somewhat sad to see Padstow like that. We had a piece of cake and at that time, cafes could open for takeaways only. And so we had a takeaway cup and coffee and she said to us, oh, this is the last day we're doing cakes so we had a piece of cake and it was huge she yeah. obviously decided that you know well if you can have a piece of cake you might as well have a big one and it was wasn't it it was delicious yeah and i just felt so bad for her because her business is is going to be so hard to maintain isn't it yeah we just hope when this is all done that you know most of these businesses are in a position just to reopen again but um let's hope so short and sharp that's yeah. what we want short and sharp and then we can pick up our lives and hopefully fingers crossed you know we carry on it'll be different it'll be a new normal but we can get through this yeah. can't we yeah Even the road's spelling out how we need to live our lives now slow Take it, it slow. is isn't it yeah. we've just slowed down it's yeah. just stopped yeah. hasn't it it's one thing i have been doing sarah yeah i've been listening to some old records Yes. The 1970s. <laughs> I'm really into my Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young at the moment. Oh, and I've got to take the mickey out of you, haven't I? <laughs> and something our kids have been doing is going through the old photographs. And even though we're kind of separated by a few miles, the internet doesn't stop you sharing them. So they've been having a right old giggle like, oh, look at me, look at you. You look so stupid in those trousers and all that sort of thing. So they've been having a whale of a time. That's some cute photos too. So from us here in a sun-drenched Cornwall at the moment, don't want to make anyone feel, feel bad. Sorry, didn't mean to make you feel bad. I'm sure it's week. sunny where you are too, because it's across all the country. But we hope that this little update video has helped you lift your spirits a little bit 
and um, we'll see you next time. So from us in Cornwall, bye. bye. Stay safe. <laughs>